you know, part of the magic of this is that you, you not only help people make whistles, but you learn about who they are and their story and so forth. There was a uh, senior citizen, an elderly man, probably in his late 60s, who had lost a son to a tragic death and was still mourning his loss. And he made his whistle, and he had expressed his interest in having his whistle on the actual sculpture itself and thought that this was a great metaphor or allegory for the loss of his son and having the spirit of his son rising up from, from earth and going to the heavens and trying to acknowledge you know, his spirit and who he was through this performance. We were extremely touched by him sharing that with us, so we dedicated Thursday night's performance to this gentleman and his lost son. Once Groot lit the fire underneath, once everything was in place and Groot lit the fire, we were all waiting around, uh, kind of looking, hoping, wondering what was going to happen next. And very slowly you start to see a little bit of steam escape. It's really very magical. And then a little bit more and then you start to hear the tones. And really, literally, as this thing starts to go, it's almost this pulsing energy. As it starts to build up, everyone's listening with a certain amount of anticipation, and then the drums begin. At that point, people start gathering, start, people start bringing their own instruments, fire artists, poi spinners, dancers, freaks, everything in between starts showing up and checking out what we're doing, and, and more specifically, participating in the music. <laughs> 